Hey everyone, we're going to talk about some touch math today. This is for a little uh, bit younger group, uh, kids who are just learning how to count, kids who are just learning how to add single digit numbers, but it can be a really effective tool, especially for those kids who really need a hands-on approach. So as you can see, I have my numbers listed here, one through nine, and they have dots on them corresponding to the number that each digit is worth. So I have three dots on the three, um, five dots on the five, and then these bigger numbers, as you can see, are a little bit different. Instead of drawing six s solid dots along the number, we've drawn uh, a solid dot in the middle and then circled it with an outer dot. And kids who are learning how to use touch math will quickly learn that this means count it twice. So it's in order to count the number six, they would count one, two, three, four, five, six, and count that way. Uh, same with the seven, even though the seven is an odd number, as you can see, this dot does not have an outer circle. And kids uh, will easily know how to do that once they start learning how to use this method. Um, they will just draw the four solid dots and then continue their counting with the circles around those dots. Um, and I'll show you that when we do some addition here in just a little bit. So this is just the basics, one through nine. Let me show you how to use this in a more practical way with addition problems. So your uh, kids will start to learn how to do addition by counting each number. For example, if we have a problem such as four plus three, they would count one, two, three, four, and put their dots on there, and then they would count one, two, three, put their dots on the three, and then they can use these dots to add up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and have their answer. Okay, once you get a little bit more advanced uh, in learning how to add, you can simply just put the dots on the smaller of the two numbers. We know that this is five, so we can just start with five and count on with the dots that are on the two. So we would count five, six, seven, and just continue adding like that once it gets a little bit more advanced. Uh, even down here when you are presented with an uh, addition problem where the first number is the smaller number and the second number is the bigger number, you want to start to teach your kids, okay, which one is smaller? That's the one that we're going to count because we already know that the four is the bigger number, so we can start with four and count on five. And then it works the same down here. Even with those larger numbers, like I said, that have the circles around the dots, your kids will know to make the smaller dots one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then they can use those dots when they're counting. Um, in this case, this is the bigger number, so they would start with this one anyways and count on to five. I'm sorry, count on with five. So we start with eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's just a very basic, quick review of how to do touch math. Thanks so much for watching.